Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make SVG vectors, icons, and logos with AI for website design. As you can see right here, I'm currently in a website called Recraft. It's gonna be this landing page, a very basic landing page if you have it, but do not be fooled by the landing page because it's a pretty powerful tool. If you're familiar with vectors and how useful they are in website design, this AI will help you. So once you're here, typically can try Craft AI for free, and then just your dummy Google account or even your dummy Facebook account to log in. However, before we get started, I just want to let you know the pricing. I'm going to open a tab right there and I'll see you once inside. So right now, this is the pricing. We only have two prices. Currently, I have the free one, which is basically free. And then the yearly is with $20. Monthly, I think it's 25, so I think go for yearly. And then it's a commercial license. Image are private and will not appear in the community gallery. And faster image generation. Now, if you're not really, um, it's not really a trouble regarding the privacy of your images, I should just go for free as of now, test the waters, and then go for the paid subscription moving forward. Anyway, let's get inside it. I'll see you once there. As you can see right here, I have an ongoing project, but I'm going to take it from step one create new project right here so once you have created the new project it's basically a blank landing page the difference between raster and vector as you can see right here raster images can be enhanced using ap upscaling vector images allow for quick recoloring and can be exported as svg files and now let's start creating a raster image first so i'm just going to type in a raster burger right here click on recraft and now how about let's create a vector image I'm going to place it right beside each other. Make sure it's burger, same prompt. Click on recraft. And I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, the left side is going to be the image or raster image. And the right side is a vector image. Notice the difference between the two. And let's move on with next examples. Now, if you're familiar with Figma one more time, you can move your vectors as you see fit. And take note. All of this are not vectors alone. We have images as it is. This burger right here is an image. And with that being said, as you see, I have enlarged it in just a few seconds. Now, I know the challenge in some of us that vectors are really hard to resize, but here we have it. Perfectly right there. Again, this is a vector. This is an image. Give me a second to clear up my um, Canva here. So we only have two samples, so we won't have a hard time identifying which is which. So I have two samples here. To get on with it, I'm just going to create one more for the sake of the discussion. And then we're going to have two options when creating. We have a raster image and a vector image. Right now, I'm currently using raster to create the burger on the right and choose a frame or style. So I have illustration, 3D render, hand-drawn, glown, green, plastic 3D, and so on and so forth. Earlier, I have illustration. How about we go for 3D now? And basically, type in burger. The aspect ratio is one by one, and it details right here. But for now, I'm going to go by default with all of those and simply click on recraft. While recrafting right there, you'll see it's currently generating. I can resize it while crafting. How awesome is that? Also, by the way, guys, I'm going to create one more. For this one, I'm going to go for vector. But before that, as you can see, it already finished generating. And then you're going to have a choice. You either choose the first one or the second one. So Recraft only gives you two choices at the moment. If you're not satisfied with this, of course, you can simply click on Recraft one more time. But you notice the first one has a background the second one doesn't have. So, for example, you're satisfied with this one. This is the one we created earlier, right? And then you want to remove the background, like this one right here. However, there is a news for you, just a disclaimer. You cannot really remove the background on images, for example, the raster image. So I suggest choose the second one. Since Recraft always gives you two options, one with background and one with not, even though they're different. However, for the vector image, you can directly remove the background in this way. So simply click on double click the image, you'll see this layer palette, and go for swatches. Once you click on swatches, look for the one that has your background color. It's gonna be that one right there, and then basically just click on transparent like so we have successfully made this one a vector with no background 
So we have successfully removed the background of this vector, right? Now, I want to try one more image. So to add one more image again, go to vector image right there. I'm going to make sure I have vector art. And we're just going to create one more burger. So the burger right now is the topic of our video. So just wait for it to finish because I want to show you something very useful. Just a disclaimer, a reminder for you guys. Raster images cannot be transparent in the background. However, you're going to have an option with the transparent one, but it's a different design also. So I have this one right here. And basically for this one, if I want to add it on my website, I can save it as an SVG. But for the sake of discussion, I'm going to remove the background first before adding it. So I'm going to choose the background color. I'm going to transparent everything. And there we have it. So export as SVG. Downloading as of now. Wait for it to finish downloading. And then I'm going to go to the website. And I'll see you once inside. So I'm using this website as a sample discussion. It's a Wix Studio. And I've added a shape. To add the shape, go to this option, Add Elements. Go for Shape and then just choose your shape. By the way, guys, you cannot really directly add the image. For example, I think I have it right here, the burger, the SVG. It will not work. It will just open a new tab on your browser. Basically, you can use it up, check everything here, how it looks like. However, if you want to use it on your website, let's just go back on Wix. We're going to need a frame or what we call shape. Just upload it right there. Upload the media. I'm just use the burger. Wait for it to finish uploading. And then with that being said, we can just add that one in the shape itself. So I'm going to click add to page right now. And there we have it. It's going to be a burger inside my Wix studio that I can, of course, I can really resize. Again, this is a vector, not a PNG, not an image. Pretty powerful tool to use. Take note for the Wix builder or any website builder out there. Let's just go back on Recraft now. Now, once back on Recraft, let me just organize this burgers because it's gonna be hungry. <laughs> anyway, with this one, I wanna share something with you pretty powerful. So I have some sample images right here. For example, I have Optimus Prime right there. I have this two logos right here. So the previous one with this one, I have used a different logo. As you can see, it's different in color. And how to use a different logo, or as we call it, a reference image to create your vector art. Simply click on vector image right there. Go on this option. Go on my vector styles. As you can see, I have a vector style right there. To add it up, just upload an image for this discussion part. I'm going to use this second one because I've used the first one earlier. I'm going to choose this guy right there. Rename this one. Let me just type this. Give me a second. I think I'm going to name it Vector2. Create style. And with that, I am creating as we see fit. I'm going to use the burger prompt again. So while generating, this will take a few seconds. I'm going to talk about something with this one. So if you see no um, tools right here, we have a lot of tools going on. But I want to focus on this option to new image set. What it means in adding an image set is if you create a box right there, it automatically gives you six options. It will give you a one of six, two of six or a prompt. For example, this one, I'm going to type in building. I'm going to type this one office worker. I'm going to type here car traffic light for this one. I'm going to go for dog and three. Now, if I click on Recraft, you'll see right there, it's currently regenerating six images at the same time. That is the image set for you. Going back on my image right now for the burger, regarding the reference image or the vector style we have, here we have it. We also have two choices. And with that being said, that is how you use your vector style or in other words, reference image to recraft in this website. Now let's just wait for this and there we have it. Pretty awesome tool, pretty awesome device. By the way, this option right here were developed in my vector art. So let, how about this one? Let's create one more. For the image set, I'm going to create one more set right there. Choose a style. I'm going to go with this color. Choose it right there. With that, I'm going to choose the um, name. Same thing, I'm going to go for a building office worker. So we can really compare the two. I'm going to go traffic light here. Go for dog and three. And then simply click on recraft. By the way, while this is now generating, let's talk about this. 
You can download them one by one, by the way. You, you can download them all together if you want, but I suggest use one by one. Since this is a vector, of course, you can remove the background, like so. Again, guys, you can only remove the background for vectors and not the roster images. So there we have it. You can move them at a piece. However, if you remove one in the image set, you'll have unlimited options or unlimited supply rather regarding it. So let me just remove this three right there. So this is now our new image set. Pretty powerful tool regarding the vector style. And I actually like it, especially this dog right here. Pretty awesome, right? By the way, guys, again, you can really remove the background. This is a pretty powerful tool because we don't really use or we don't really need to use a third party application to remove the background. I can simply remove the background of everything by doing them individually, of course, making sure that the background is selected properly. I know it's hard to choose which part of the background color, background spectrum or swatches it is, but supposedly, most of the time, it's always the first one. The first color is your background. Take note about that one. Simply to make it transparent, and there we have it. By the way, guys, just some additional information for you. For example, you have created an image set, right? As you can see right here, I am currently using a vector style from earlier. And I have used a search house map lightning music and envelope for this one. Now, for some reason, just for the sake of discussion, the last image or any of the image right here is broken. For example, this envelope right here, half of it has not been fully um, output or generated. You can simply click on Recraft one more time. It's basically reshuffling or regenerating the output here. Same goes with the image right there for the search one. What I mean by that is any image right here can be recrafted if for some reason they are broken or not really fully generated. So that is a very helpful tool or information for you to use it. So please take note about that one. Again, guys, if you're not satisfied, if it's broken or not fully generated, simply Click on Recraft and you'll be good to go. So since we're done with two image set, I want to try one more because I saw something very curiously. Let me just put it right there. I think it's around here somewhere. Or is it the seamless art? Give me here for raster image. Should be around here. There we have it. Seamless. So for seamless, I'm going to go with this one. Programmers. Well, let's just go for burgers because I love burgers. I'm just going to go with this one for burgers. With that being said, I'm going to click on Recraft as of now to check the seamless patterns here. If you're familiar with seamless, I have a video about it, how to create seamless patterns in Canva. But right now, I'm showing you how to create seamless patterns much more efficiently and much more easier using Recraft AI. Again, this is a free tool and there we have it. So we're going to have two options, this one right here or this one. Again, this is the much more seamless style and if you click on copy click on paste i think if we connect them all together properly they will look seamless pretty awesome right again there we have it we have a seamless pattern let me just delete this two right here so we won't get distracted so this is our seamless pattern now it's going to be an infinite loop if i just connect it properly wherever or whichever part of the image you connect it they will be connected pretty powerful tool regarding seamless patterns. So before we end this video, I just want to highlight that there are a lot of things to check here. For example, the glow, the hand-drawn, the plastic 3D, pixel art is right there. So please check them out. Photorealism is right here. My illustration styles is going to be by your own design or basically reference image. Same goes with the image right there for the vector. Please choose them. There are a lot of going on here. Icons right here, logo, my vector styles and my icon styles are right there again this is how we use recraft and thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now